Welcome to Malindi. And this is our villa. So we're going to start off this villa tour in the very front because we actually have our own private pool there. We've got a couple of loungers. I like this round one too. Um, and then let's come to the front where we have a beautiful seating area. There's so much space in here too. Oh, I'm going to try not to make you dizzy, swing you around. We also have a kitchen table here and you'll understand why in just a minute. And now let's go see the lower level. So in here, we have a TV sitting area. We won't use it, we're at the coast. We don't need any of that. In here, let's see if we can get some lights on. There we go. We've got room number one with a small ensuite bathroom in there. Back out. Over here, there's a full on kitchen. There's a mini bar in the fridge too. So you could probably cook your own food or like hire a chef in. I feel like that would be fine. And then, so this here is just the same copy paste as the room we just saw. So downstairs, two rooms, living area, kitchen. Now let's go see, I guess you call it the middle floor? Yeah, let's do that. So this is the master bedroom. Sorry, it's uh, getting down for turn down too because it is 4.30. Beautiful bed. You'll notice this room is a lot, lot bigger than the ones downstairs. And then our bathroom. Oops, sorry, I just put that in Dave's face. Um, he wants a special mention for the shower and the shower is pretty nice. Uh, double shower basically, but I like how it's open too. Back out here. We actually have a little seating area there as well, but we probably won't end up using it because this is the best seating area. This place is absolutely stunning. Beautiful, massive loungers. And then you can see here basically how big the house is. You see the pool, you can see down to the main floor there. This is a nice spot. Now that you've seen our villa, which is very nice, we're gonna go see, go to the beach bar because beach bar, I, do I have to say anything else? This property is massive. We're gonna show you a little bit more about it today, tomorrow, and you know, as our stay goes. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pumped to be here. Nairobi has been cold lately. It's so much better at the coast. This is we, such a quicker way to the beach. Sorry. Yeah. I just, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have some cool activities planned as usual because you guys know me I can't just sit on a beach chair and, and wait I, I get bored no, so cannot. I'm excited so even though the main beach part of this resort isn't private they actually sectioned off a really big area made it into their beach bar and made it still beachy like there's a ton of sand and everything you can even play like beach volleyball over there things like that so yeah this is a really cool spot to hang out and we might just do that I don't know what we're doing yet. Looking good. Thank you. So we are all showered up. Tracy put a nice dress on. Mm -hmm. I put my fanciest Mickey shirt. And now it's time for us to go eat some good, delicious, Italian style, because we're in Melindi, food. The food was good last time. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you realize, but it's our second time here. The, the first time, I'll, I'll link the video down below. We yeah. stayed in a normal room on the other like side. Like apartment style yeah. almost. Yeah, but this time is the full villa experience. Yeah.
So the Lawford has one restaurant, but it's a good restaurant. It is right mm. by the pool. A lot of like the ambiance here. Italian style food. Music, Italian oh, style they have music some for sure. Swahili food as well. They yeah, had some curries true. and Swahili yeah. fish. So we ordered some bruschetta. So here's the thing. Last time when we came here, we were in just like one of their normal rooms and I'll be honest, looking at the restaurant, like you don't expect crazy good food, mm -hmm. but but it is. It is really good. So hopefully the memory serves us correctly because the bruschetta <laughs> that was so good last night. So we had to order it again. And the eggplant cake. Yeah. Tracy's been talking about the bruschetta since we arrived. They're yeah. coming. <laughs> we ordered them. It passed. Can you take a minute? As expected, great supper. Yeah. Just spent a few times in the room watching some shows, just I know, relaxing. We had like an early supper for us while we're yeah. away type thing, so yeah. that's kind of nice. So we're gonna get some rest because tomorrow we got a few things planned. I'm very excited. Couple actually. last minute things. That's yeah. alright. Always. Yeah. Cool. See you in the morning. So from what we heard from the locals on our way here is that mango and watermelon are in season. And I can tell you right now, this looks amazing. Even the watermelon, I can smell it. When can you just smell watermelon? Like what? The sun is shining, coffee in hand, bellies are full. Let's go see the rest of this place. So behind me is actually the reception when we first came in. And then over here it's called Victoria and that's the restaurant. So that's where you have all of your meals. I think if they're full, they have this beautiful looking spot here that they can add extra tables as well. You have a one, yes, number one pool right here. Um, to be honest, I don't normally see that many people in it. I feel like it's a little bit more shallow. So maybe that's where kiddos can come. But anyways, pool number one. Then over in there, they even have like a TV room. They said if the big game's on. <laughs> um, so there's a nice seating area with the ping pong table is there. And let's go down into like the garden area down below because it's really, really pretty. So last time that we were here, we actually stayed in one of those ones over there. Um, I'm gonna use the term that this place is quite affordable because from what I can see online, it's not necessarily per person. When you stay in the villa, you can have the max amount of people, let's say like four, six or eight people, and you just pay that one price. Now, most of the time it is just the room, but that's okay. There's a cheap restaurant on site, which has really good food, might I add, <laughs> or you could cater yourself. So behind me over there is actually a massive chess board that you can play. Then over here, we have a beautiful pool. It was January, the heat of summer last time when we were here. I don't think we ever appreciated a pool as much as we appreciated this one because it wasn't overly hot like most of them are. It was fantastic. Honestly, it is one of the biggest beaches besides Diani that we have seen here. Um, it's massive in the sense like it goes really far on either side. And I feel like maybe it was the time of year that we came last time. because I remember the water being kind of brown and dirty, but right now it looks great. It's taking me about a half hour, but I think I'm finally gonna do it. It's cold. No, it's refreshing. refreshing. It's just because my body's really warm right now. Oh no, I'm losing it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yep, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Okay, no, it does actually feel really good. But the initial shock is like, whew, man. Tuk-tuk driver, I think his name is Mugo. I think we, we, we got his number. I think he's gonna be our new tuk-tuk uh, driver for Melindi area.
So we just arrived at Baby Mero. It's very nice. I'm a little confused. I think is it is it a, a hotel too, or is it just a restaurant? I think it's just a restaurant. I think it's just a restaurant. But it's very nice, like very lush and stuff. And it's kind of out of the town, like even out of the town yeah. more than Lawford. Yeah. Took about the, like yeah. But the 10 dining minutes. room is very nice. I love those paintings yeah. everywhere. Like I, we see them everywhere in the coast. I love them. Too yeah. expensive. I wish I could buy one for our house. Anyway, we just looked at the menu. There's an extensive menu. Mm -hmm. A lot of different pizza and pasta. It's obviously an Italian restaurant, like most restaurants in the Um yeah. But yeah, they have like a wood oven pizza, great wine selection. We'll see. I'm excited for pizza. I already I, see the- I ordered oven. the thing that I wanted that's very special. <laughs> Dave. How come your pastas are black? Well, I'm glad you asked. These, my friends, are squid ink pasta. This is where the color is coming from, and they are very hot. Mm. Both black. So good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well. Tastes like pasta and squid. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so scared of putting some everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, I have a white shirt on. Please be careful. <laughs> my mom is there. I'm literally wiping my mouth between everybody because even though I accepted that my mouth inside is gonna be black for hours, I don't want my lips and around my mouth to be too. There's no better way to end, especially at an Italian restaurant, a meal than gelato. Mm. Okay, so overall, I would say it was very good. Yeah. Uh, too much sauce on the appetizer, but like the pasta, like the quality of the pasta is so good. Pizza was good. Yeah. Uh, everything was 5,500, so decent price. Yeah. No complaints. No. I will come back. <laughs> So that was Ronald. That's our driver for a longer distance. Yeah. Very nice too. Just arrived at a Licht house. Meet our secret friends and then and then we're going on the boat. But this this morning we had to take another tuk tuk and I felt like I betrayed you. Ah no! But it was in Melindi, so you know. Ah, you that, in that's, yes. Ah, so ah, no that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So last minute change of plans, we ended up coming with Captain Sammy to go on a sunset cruise. It's a great boat, and sunset cruises on Muta Creek are fantastic. No fears or just take the jump and hold your breath It feels good to be alive Oh, if you trip, get up again Here we go, we're ascending Now that we're full of samosas, it's time to go Just take a second and appreciate this beautiful sunset. I don't remember the last time we had such a good sunset. David's right. I do love a good sunset and we haven't seen a clear sunset in a while. There's some clouds there, but the colors are still fantastic. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Time to go back. Won't stop for traffic like okay, great okay. great food too. Yeah. Delicious food. I really wanna know, really wanna know if I let figure out where the road goes. And just like that, we're back at the lot food. What a great day this was. It really was. And a little bit different too for us discovering mm -hmm. restaurants in 
the Melindy. coast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Melindy. We're always in Watamu, so it's really cool to like just, yeah. you know, explore a little bit outside of Watamu. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it was a super nice evening and we had a beautiful sunset uh, on Star Captain came Sammy. Out. Man, it was yeah. a great night. Yeah. So I'm going to put their information down below just in case you look for yeah. Adele. Otherwise, well, good night and see you in the morning. So this morning we have a very, very different kind of breakfast away from the North American standard with eggs and bacon. We actually have um, a curry bean dish, which smells delicious. And of course, chapatis, which is the best way to start the day. The flavor is insane. Egg that eggs and bacon. Our two competitors this year for the Grand Lawford Open. Trace Manny and the best golfer of all time, Dave Tigerwood Manny. So something brand new here at the Lawford that wasn't there the last time we were here in January 2021 is a putting green. They have a seven hole putting green and today we're gonna practice our golf skill, our putting skills, which we didn't practice in a very we long need to make time. <laughs> Tracy, good game? Thank you. There was really no winner. We're equally terrible at golfing. This I agree with. <laughs> yeah. Now we're gonna go do our favorite thing about the Lawford. And if you've seen our first video, you know what it is. It's where we discovered it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And now we're a big fan of it. They have amazing gelato. So the food at the Lawford is overall very good and very affordable as well because none of those stays are actually full board but nothing that we've hate here since we arrived was over a thousand Kenyan shillings. Something else that I love about the Lawford is the pool. One of the biggest and best pool on the Kenyan coast. So it is time for us to go to the airport, take a flight back to Nairobi. But I'm sure you're asking, how much does this place cost? Well, this villa that we stayed in uh, goes for three nights up to six people, $1,050. So total. overall, like total, yeah, total yeah. for the three night and six people. Yeah. So three couples. Um, so overall, like it, I would say it's pretty affordable. Yeah. If you want to see what the other side of the resort looks like, I'm going to link that video down below mm. when we stayed in the kind of apartment side. I would yeah, say. and I believe it was around like two, $300 for two nights. Like very very affordable yeah. and the restaurant sure. here because you if you have a villa you have the option of bring yeah. your own chef bring your own food cook your own food whatever you want yeah. but the restaurant too like I said earlier very affordable as well so that's really really good pool yeah. is good too really like the great pool. pool great gelato great gelato great, great staff yeah great location as well yeah. like very close to all the restaurant like we we've done yesterday so yeah, yeah. overall would recommend yeah we're going back to Nairobi and be back you? on the coast next Friday. Oh, yeah. yeah. Two coasts in the row. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And otherwise, see you guys in the next one. Yeah.